right, I'm on hole number six of Park to Perry. I'm in the uh, opening round of the rookie division in the City of Lights tournament, and that's where we're getting these. I'm trying to come out into this area, and you can either come at it from the left or you can come at it from the right. Um, the left, you don't have to add any curls, so you know your chances of getting a Albi here might be a little bit better. But you're entering on this side right here, and it's the steepest part of the hill. So it's really steep here, and then it comes around and where the flag pulls out, it's like super, super steep, and then it gets less steep as it comes around. So where you're coming at it from over here, you're entering at the steepest part, and it's a very difficult shot. The wind here in the tournament is blowing this way, and so that means you're having to make a wind adjustment with these trees. So you have to pull around to this side and push the wind out instead of doing our normal thing where we get here and then pull the wind out. The other thing is when you set the ball up, to try and get it in you can't see it from here because these trees are in the way so you have to rotate over here so that you can look at it and then make your adjustment from the side and it can cause you to waste a couple seconds and a couple seconds give you the difference between timing out and not timing out this shot right here is a fairly straightforward shot and I'm going to bring a katana you can do this with any ball but a side spin ball works better so I'm going to bring a katana. I'm going to bring my number one bag. Extra mile and a guardian. And off we go. This is a very difficult hole to get an albi on. It's not a really big albi hole. But I have found that, and I know with tailwind, and, I'm, and it may work the same with headwind, but just in this particular tournament, diagnosing the shots that we've been taking on the drive, I'm going to take 20% of the wind out. Now I'm going to aim right for the center of this little area right here. And if I aim right dead center of it and I hit it perfect, it actually, if I took the full wind out, it was landing halfway between dead center and the sand. So that means if you hit a grate to the right, you're in the sand. And if you hit a two ring grate to the right, you're definitely in the sand. So I think the reason a lot of people are ending up in the sand on this hole is because they're doing a full wind adjustment. If you catch a right, I'm not a fan of being that close to any transitional surface. If you don't pull the wind out absolutely perfect, you're in big trouble. So they took out that level extra mile, they took out about four wind. Then they hit it perfect. You can see how close they were there. Now they probably, if they would have hit it great to the right, they probably would have bounced over the sand, but that's a little too close for comfort. There was no room for error there. Maybe dead center in the middle. 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to move it a little less than a ring. Hit it great to the left. I'm trying to bounce it up there. If you want to go down from the left, the farther up there you can get, the, the more you open up that window. If you're trying to hit it to the right, you actually don't need to get that much distance. So my opponent is going for the left hand shot. This will kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Now if you eyeball wind out, it won't be so bad. And they're right, once again, right on that transitional mark. With a sniper with 3.5, that's 3.5 rings. So let's see how far out they move it. So they're definitely going to hit in the fairway, and I'm not sure they put, I'm going to be curious to see how the ball reacts when it gets to the other side. It looked like it was going to go long. And what they're trying to do is come at it on the flat down here where it, there's less of that hillside.
I'm going to do my blue ring off. It's 1.2 per ring, so we're a little less than three rings. Put maximum curl. Hitting it perfect. See if I can swing it back over there. Engage that hill a little bit and roll down to the cup. And I am, like you can take these four squares right here and I'm almost always when I take that shot somewhere in those four squares, but it's hard to have enough speed when you come around that in order to get it to the hole. If I put more backspin on it and I swing it around like that, it, it's usually stopping somewhere over here. This is a tough hold to Alvy. I mean, if I ever get an, if I get Alvy on this, it's just a luck deal. I put myself in position a lot because I'm that close, but trying to pick up the Alvy on this hole is very difficult. This is not, in my opinion, a hole that when you come into a tournament and you're looking at it, you're thinking Alvy. But there's going to be a surprising amount of people who are going to fail on this hole and not get the eagle. So if you can come here and consistently get an eagle. <laughs> And you can get the same exact thing that I did right there done with the Quasar. Hitting a perfect eagle. I will forfeit. Do not want to play these shootouts. All right, that was hole number six of Park de Paris. Thanks for watching.